the session of mobile journalism training was an amazing session where we have but uh, I equip our skills who teach kwanza kuta mobile reporting. So in the bed serikana, because sometimes I was worried that I don't own a camera. So with my phone, I don't miss every detail. Kwanza ukazira nego create ku create any content of of my choice and any content in odi wani wezera language shiduko. Work with what you have to make good content. You may not necessarily have access to all the best types of equipment, but you can make a plan with the things that you have and still be able to give a, a good quality um, clip that you can use. And also like, I bought this, this is like um, an H2 in, uh, an H1 in actually, sorry. So I use this for my mic. I don't have a lapel, but this is what I use. So, it's, um, so I just place it near the person you can see like there's mics here. You can even attach a mic sometimes if you have like an extra mic and stuff so yeah you like just finding things on the market that you can buy i know there's a lot of um i don't know i don't know but a bit small i got it for like interviews when people do interviews and things like that so yeah just try and find there's a good investment for you to have as well so then just because if you zoom definitely quality Oh, so in the federal experience, I'm going to fix the interview. I did that on one visa on how to use my phone. Time go from God to me, you should know. Because when you come here, I create a digital camera. But I also learned a lot. Could do also share my own mobile phone. Could tell my stories. Could edit my stories and everything. And I'm so happy. And the team was. So you start with your idea. What is the idea? Why? And then, um, so why is it relevant? Why is it important? Um, what kind of shots are you going to? So you're going to say, I'm going to do a wide shot, establish a shot of um, Gokwe, and then I'm going to do a, a um, medium shot of an interview with a specific person. My name is Tracy and I was one of the participants of the workshop that was held by the feed and I would like to take this opportunity to applaud them for taking their time to come and teach us as young people what we can do with our mobile phones, not just taking pictures but making news, making stories as well. So thank you very much. It's been lovely, it's been marvellous and um, I was glad to see that the, the participants enjoyed and there so many stories that never get to see the light in mainstream media but overall, don't worry, Gary is promising fireworks and the stories here and the participants were nothing but marvellous so we're hoping that this is a growing trend not just in Gary or Harare but in so many areas where feed is yet to touch us. Hey, um, thank you guys on the feed. We had a great, great, great time when you guys came to Gary finally to give us um, this digital mobile, so digital um, workshop. You know, when you come to a workshop, you expect to see like um, old people, but seeing people who are as young, vibrant as you are, dressed in a similar way, it was really easy to communicate, easy to learn and it's such a great initiative that you guys are doing to empower youths. You really, really get that. Where young people are empowering young people. I hope you guys keep doing that. You're not limited to, you know, we grew up in small cities or small towns where people say it ends here in the small towns. For you to get anything, you have to go to the big city. And for you guys to make the change to come this side, I give you a thumbs up, keep doing more. Um, I learned a lot, especially when it comes to mobile journalism. And it's quite interesting because you never stop learning. So guys, hashtag the feed, please come again.